Tony Breed likes to tell stories. Sometimes through the medium of the comics he writes and draws. Sometimes through curated sets of music on his radio show on Chirp Radio. Friday mornings, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Tune in. It's great. And sometimes through the elegant and intuitive software, uh, excuse me, user interfaces he creates for business software. It's all stories. Trust him. And right now, Tony has two minutes to answer tonight's question. Tony? Hi. Do you remember that time we spent the night in a phone booth? Oh my God, yes. Uh, that trip the five of us took to Europe after high school. We uh, took the wrong train back from the beach, and we ended up, instead of going to our hotel in Nantes, we went, ended up in uh, Le Croisic. The guy at the tourism office said we could spend the night in a tent, the abandoned tent they used for discos, and he gave us a letter in case the police had questions for us. <laughs> and we only had our beach clothes, and we were freezing. And I started dancing to keep warm, and the rest of you were all looking at me like you hated me because it looked like I was having fun, which I was not. <laughs> and finally, Mark stood up and said, that's it, I'm going to a phone booth for warmth. And we all said, oh, great idea, and we followed him, and we all crammed into the same phone booth. <laughs> and you and I passed the time brainstorming a mixtape of all-female artists, and Josh later said it was the most boring conversation he'd ever heard in his life. <laughs> But he couldn't think of anything else to talk about, so he just let us go. <laughs> wow, you remember so much detail. I don't remember half of that. It's all the pot I smoke. But <laughs> anyway, I made a comic about it. Here's the train stopping in Le Croisic, and here's the disco tent. And here's the part where Mark and Josh decided to try to pick up a French girl and get her to take all five of us home with her. But they wanted you or me to do the talking because we were the ones who spoke French and we refused. What? I don't remember that at all. I think I must have blocked it because it was a really stupid idea that was never going to work. Anyway, it's not that my memory is better than yours. You remembered a lot. We just remember different things. This is a conversation, as I remember it, that I had 15 years ago with my very good friend Justin Hall, who teaches comics at the, Chicago, at the California College of the Arts. And uh, Justin probably remembers this conversation differently, if at all. <laughs> <laughs> 